In the previous tutorial, I showed you how to make levels for a car game, where each level was stored in a separate file. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make levels for a car game, where each level is a scene within the same Blender file. I'm going to start by opening the first car level that I made in the previous tutorial. The first thing I'm going to do is delete this game actuator. It loads level 2 as a separate file. In the old version, all the levels were separate files. In this new version, all the levels will be scenes within the same file. Now I'm going to give the scene a more meaningful name. Level 1 Chess. And I'm going to add a new scene for the next level. And we have to choose which option. Choosing the new or the copy settings options creates an empty new scene, but I want at least the car to be copied over to drive around the new level, and these two options offer little benefit over separate files. Choosing the link object data or the full copy options creates duplicates. If I call the new scene level 2, and have a look at its contents in the outliner window. The objects are the same as in level 1, but you can't have two objects with the same name, so they've been renamed. If I start the scene, the car has no wheels, the scripts are looking for the objects, but they've been renamed. I could edit the scripts, but I need two sets of scripts, so it soon become very complicated. Choosing the link objects option works best for the car game. If I name the new scene level 2 and take a look at its contents in the outliner window, we see that it has exactly the same objects as level 1. So not surprisingly, when I start the game engine, it works. Both level 1 and level 2 have exactly the same objects in exactly the same place. How do we make level 2 different? How do we add, move and delete objects in the new scene? Well, starting with deleting, if I select a chess piece and delete it, does that affect level 1? No, it doesn't. Provided the object exists somewhere in another scene, deleting only affects the current scene. Moving objects. If I select the ruby and alter its Y location, does that affect level 1? Yes, it does. So how can we move the ruby in level 2 and not alter level 1? Well, if I duplicate the ruby, hold down shift and press D and enter, and I alter the Y location of the duplicate, and I delete the original, that won't affect level 1, because we've moved the new ruby. Does adding objects to the current scene affect other scenes? File append, find the blender file, and select it. Go into the object folder and select the object and link append. I'm going to select the goblet and place it. Set its x location to 2 and its y location to minus 4. Does that affect level 1? No it doesn't as I think we would expect. Now how do we move on to the next level when the current level is complete? If I go back to level 1 and look at the logic bricks I used before, this property sensor senses the score being equal to 130 and sends a signal through before it went to a game actuator that loaded the next level that was in a separate file. Now I could add a scene actuator that would set the scene to be level 2. And that would work when in level 1 you got to 130, that would send a signal through and set the scene to be level 2. But what happens in level 2 when you get to 130? The scene would be reset. 
and you'd never get to level 3, but if you did, and you got to a score of 130, you'd go back to level 2. I couldn't solve the problem using Logic Bricks alone. I had to use some Python code. If I show you my solution, I'll explain why. First of all, I added a game property level to store the current level. I added an always sensor and a Python controller linked to my Python script. And that will always check to see if the level needs updating. And I added a set of scene actuators that will set the scene to the next level when fired. Looking at the Python script, this line gets the current controller, which is the Python controller. This line gets the owner of the controller. All these logic breaks are connected to an empty object called game. The next three lines get the actuators connected to the Python controller. I've got three scene actuators which set the next level and links to them are stored in these three variables. Skipping a couple of lines, this line says if the score is 130 and the level is 1, activate the actuator that will set the scene to level 2. And if I scroll down, this line says if the score is 220 and the level is 2, activate the actuator that will set the scene to level 3. Now all this could be implemented in Logic Bricks quite straightforwardly, but the problem is when you set a scene all the game properties are reset to their default values, which for level is 1. So this line would never be true. To overcome the problem, this line adds a property level to the Blender Game Engine Global Dictionary. And it is this property that is updated in the if statements. Now the Global Dictionary is not reset when the level changes. And this line updates the game property level from the global dictionary property level. I'm going to start the Blender game engine to test the game. The level is displayed in the debug area. And when all the gemstones are collected, the level goes up. I'm going to finish the tutorial there. I'll put this version of the game for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.